Hello, it's Alina from Estimate Mastery here. And today what I'd like to talk about is making a major change to your estimate to a certain line item. So what I mean by that is I've been writing some pretty intense flood claims recently, and there's like 580 line items, we've got 20 different rooms, and I need to change my carpet from regular carpet to high grade carpet over the whole entire estimate. So normally you'd go and you'd click in each room and have to make those changes, but I've got a way that I can make the change over the entire estimate. You can do this also with uh, changing remove and replace to replace only because a lot of the mitigation people have already pulled out most of the you know, bottom half of the drywall, they've pulled out the carpet. So if you've accidentally added a line item that's uh, remove and replace, you can also change the activity code this way too on that one line item across the whole estimate. So let me show you how this works because this saved me a ton of time in this past week. Let's go take a look. So here we are in the estimate, and as you can see, I've got lots of rooms, lots of areas that we've added line items to. And not only that, our line item lists are quite extensive in a lot of these rooms. There is a lot going on, and having to hunt and peck for a line item is not going to be fun or easy. So what I've got here is some of my custom cabinets that we've got need to be premium grade, and I accidentally added some high grade here and there um, because we hadn't caught in the pictures that they need to be premium grade. So about halfway through the estimate, I started adding premium grade cabinets, but I need to go find those areas or find the line items that have the high grade designation and change them to premium. So what you can do is just click on one area of your grouping tree. These can be folders or they can be the blue squares, which have been created over in Sketch. That's all that means. That's the only difference. The blue squares show that these areas have been created in Sketch. Your folders, of course, are just user added folders. So that's the only difference here. You can click on either one, either the folder or the Sketch area, and then Control A to select your whole grouping tree. And what that does is creates a nice long list here of every single line item added to this estimate that's organized by category alphabetically, and then selector code. So you'll see here the category is alphabetized and then the selector code is also alphabetized within that category. And I'm looking for my cabinets here. There we are. Oh, also the countertop, that needs to be premium grade as well. So I can go ahead and just add another plus sign here and I can left click OK. It's key guys that you go ahead and left click OK. I've noticed that if I just make the change and then move on to another line item, sometimes it doesn't stick. So I'm gonna left click OK. And it's gonna do this really weird thing where it kind of duplicates the line item. This is a new glitch that I'm having. This still works, it doesn't actually duplicate it in the estimate, it is a glitch. So if I click back out here onto my grouping tree, come back into that master list here, you'll see there isn't a duplicate. It just looked like it on that past screen. So let me show you when I do this again on my custom cabinets. It's gonna look like we're adding a duplicate line item. If I left click OK, added it down here, but I'm actually not. So I hope you guys aren't experiencing this glitch. I've just gotten used to it because I've been working uh, these large estimates this uh, past two weeks, so it doesn't bother me. But um, some of you, if you get really bothered by it, might want to get with uh, tech support, see if there's a new patch they can send you. I'm too busy to, to get on and, and fix the glitch. I just roll with it. So again, if I click out here, to one specific area, and then go back and highlight all, you'll see my custom cabinets, they've all been moved to the premium grade, and there is no longer any high grade countertop or custom cabinet there. So that's just a side note, sorry about the glitch on my screen, but I had to show you guys this feature because it really saved me. When we had to make some changes and switch hit in the middle of the estimate these uh, past couple weeks. You can also, by the way, change your activity code this has been really glitchy for me this week, I'm not sure why, uh, meaning I'll change the activity code and I'll go back out and come back in and it still isn't changed. So I've been a little frustrated with that. Hopefully, again, you guys aren't experiencing that. I've had some other issues with Xactimate this uh, past two weeks, but um, that is something that is supposed to be able to change here is your activity code as well as your grading or your even your line item type. So if I wanted to change this custom cabinet to a full height unit, I could do that here. So your activity codes hopefully are working for you guys, not so much for me right now, 
but that's okay. I've still saved a lot of time by being able to go back in and redeem myself and uh, upgrade those cabinets, countertops, and other things that we've been catching here in this estimate. So this has been Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this topic, please click the like button below. Also subscribe. We update this channel once a week. For more information on what we do here at XM8 Mastery, I train contractors how to use Xactimate. I've launched a brand new website, so take a look at www.xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys have a really great week in your business and you're not writing 580 line item estimates. Just kidding. It's actually pretty fun. Anyhow, hope you get a lot of work done the rest of the week and uh, we'll see you next Tuesday.